Hello guys, welcome to Coding Donut. In this video, we will make this awesome QR code generator in React Native from scratch, step by step. I will explain every part of code and why I write it. But first a little demo of app. User can input any string or URL, and it will generate a QR code for same. It works on both iOS and Android perfectly. Enough talking, let's dive in to build this app. First, we will create a new project with name QR Generator. Using this npx command, this will give us a blank expo template with TypeScript. Then we will run app using npx expo start command. Press I to open app in iOS simulator. Next, we will start building our app. We will start with background first. We will use a safe area view and give it a style container. It will have flex one to cover full screen, a dark background and position relative to place the circular div in it. Next, we will create two views for these circular divs and give them style view 1 and view 2. View 1 will have width 300 pixels and height 200 pixels. A contrast background color. Top 0, right 0. And position absolute to fix it at top right corner. It will have bottom left border radius as 100% to make it circular at bottom corner. View 2 will have width and height of 250 pixels. Same background as view 1 and position absolute. A bottom zero and left zero to fix it at bottom left corner. And it will have top right border radius as 100% to make it circular at top right corner. Now, we will start building the main div, which will contain heading text, user input, button and QR code. We will create a view with style main container. Inside this view, we will give our heading text and then give style font size 54 and color white to the text. we will give some padding to the main container. We will then make another view with style sub container. This will contain input box and button to generate QR and QR code itself. It will have another view inside it, which will box input and button. We will use text input of React Native Library to take user input, give it a style input, a placeholder and placeholder color as gray.
Next we will use touchable opacity for button. Give it a style button. Next we will give style to all these components. Starting with sub container, give it a top margin of 80 pixels. Justify content center and align items center to place all views inside this container at center. Give background color to input, some padding, text color white, and flex one to cover entire width. Here input is stretched vertically, because I have not given it a flex direction row. It takes a flex direction column by default. It will be corrected in few minutes. But first, let's give some styling to button also. For now I have commented flex in input to make button visible. Now as soon as I give flex direction row to parent div of input, both input and button will be arranged side by side. And now if I give input flex 1, it will cover whole width available. To generate QR code, we have to install a React Native QR library. This library provides a function to display QR. Next we have to import this function from library. Then we can simply give this function a value, and it will give a QR code for this value. Now we have generated a QR code successfully. We will give it some styling to make it look a little better and cleaner. We will also change size of QR code to make it bigger, but now we have to make this generation dynamic based on user input. For that, we will create two states. First a URL state which will contain user input. We will set this in on change text function inside our input. Next, we will create another state name is QR generated to keep track if QR is generated by user or not. This will be false initially. We will set it to true when user press generate button.
Here we got an error because value passed to QR function cannot be empty. So we will use a ternary operator to check if user have pressed the button and display QR only if is QR generated, state is true. If QR is not generated, we will display a placeholder in its place. Now if we enter some string in input and press button, our QR code is generated. But here we get another there because we did not check if URL string is empty or not. So we will add a and condition and display QR only if URL contains something. And QR generated is true. Now we don't get any error even if there is no input. As you can see, QR is changing with change in input. We don't want that. We only want to generate it. When user press button to achieve this, we will set is QR generated to false as soon as user changes the input. This will prevent QR from changing while user is still typing input. Now we have successfully built our QR generator app. Hope you have learned something. Comment if you have any suggestions. Like and subscribe if you want more tutorials like this.